गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर ऑन द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द सेम यूनिट दैट इज एपिडेमियोलॉजी एंड द टूडेज टॉपिक इज डिजीज ट्रांसमिशन एंड डिजीज साइकिल द वर्ड डिजीज ट्रांसमिशन मीन्स हाउ द डिजीज गेट ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनदर एंड डिजीज साइकिल मीन्स हाउ डज इट टेक टाइम टू ग्रो एंड गेट ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम अ पर्सन टू पर्सन ऑफ पर्सन टू अदर मेटल्स और ऑब्जेक्ट्स then we'll first see the disease transmission so let's see the definition disease transmission is the passing of a communicable disease from an infected host individual or group to a con con specific individual or group regardless of whatever the other individual was previously infected so as i have told the word transmission means transfer that is how the infection get transferred from one person to another or host the host means the disease in which it sits and grow or you can say the infectious element that is virus bacteria pathogen etc get growing uh, that is called host so the whole disease transmission means the transfer of the disease from one person to another then we'll see the dynamic of disease transmission dynamic means changes and how does it grow so it has a step that is source or reservoir mode of transmission and susceptible host source or reservoir means how the means where, place where does it grow then mode of transmission means through something they get transmitted then susceptible host on the person in which it gets uh, nourishment and grows more and more and then it is transferable from one person to another so we'll see the source and reservoir so what are the sources sources in that first is initiation of communicable disease existence of a reservoir or source of in infection initiation of communicable disease means from where first it starts uh, we'll take a present situation that is corona so this corona cases has been started from china so that is initiation of communicable disease that due to some of some some of the infections in china the first the communicable disease is started in china and then it get transferred from china to india so they are the initiation of communicable disease then source of infection the person animal objects or substance from which an infectious agent passes or is disseminated to the host so sources are the substances on which this infectious agents are sitting and then they are getting transferred here in case of corona the infectious or you can the source is human being metals plastics objects so these are the sources that's why we, the uh, we are asked to wash hand frequently whenever we are getting in contact with some of the outside objects so that is the reason the sources are the animal person or objects then reservoir any person animal arthropod plant soil or substances in which an infectious agent live and multiplies on which it depends primarily for survival and where it reproduces itself in such manner that it can be transmitted to a susceptible host so reservoir is something in which the bacteria sit and it grows here the same example of sources are used like if the bacteria sits on a person then also it will multiply and grow if it sits on a plastic then also it will multiply and go grow and if it sits on a metal then also it is multiplying and growing so the main reason of this bacteria are to multiply and grow where are wherever they are finding the sources so mainly are resources and uh, I'm sorry the mainly are sources and reservoirs are the same thing in the sources are nothing but they are getting some uh, things you to survive and reservoir are some are uh, something in which they are getting nourishment to grow and multiply then after that we'll see the homologous reservoir and heterologous reservoir homo means same and hetero means different that means so many so here homologous reservoir means from same thing that means uh, reservoir something in which they are sitting and growing so here the uh, i as i told homologous means same so here in this kind of homologous reservoir the uh, infection can uh, this viruses and pathogens can only transfer from one thing to another if they are from the one 
element like if um, uh, pathogen grows on the plastic so it can only transfer to another plastic it cannot grow on another things then if it is on the person then only it can transfer from one person to another it cannot be tra it, it cannot transfer from plastics to uh, human beings then in heterogeneous they can transfer from any they will transfer to anything and they will grow so it, uh, it can transfer to so many objects animals or uh, human beings then we'll see the next three types of reservoir mainly there are three types of reservoirs human reservoirs animal reservoirs and reservoir in non living things so these are three categories of the reservoir uh, again i'm telling you what is the reservoir reservoir in something where the bacteria pathogens viruses sit and they will make their family that is they will divide and grow that is from 2 to 4 4 to 8 then so on they will be go on dividing then we'll see what is human resource or uh, human reservoir most important source of infection may be case or carrier most of the communicable disease in human are contract uh, contracted from human source only so human reservoir is the most common source for the infection because the most of the infectious a uh, infections sit on human body and then they get multiply and transfer from one person to another then is the animal reservoir source of infection may be animals and birds may be cases of carrier zoonosis vertebrates to man then examples are rabies yellow fever and influenza then histoplasmosis infection caused by the bird so uh, here the reservoir is the animal that means the infection uh, uh, that is bacteria viruses sit on the animals there they make their family and then those who come in contact with those animals they are transferred to uh, them that is from animals to human beings they are getting transferred so examples are rabies if whenever there is a dog bite to a human being their chances of getting rabies how because these bacteria are present in that dog and when dog bites the human being so this bacteria get transferred from animal to human being and so the infection is transferred then we'll see the reservoir in non-living things non-living things mean that don't have life so soil and inanimate matter so something which has which is non-living that is it cannot breathe so in those things also the bacteria grow the, uh, these non-living things are your metals objects soils where the bacteria are sitting multiplying and growing and whenever you go and touch those objects they are getting transferred from one person to another then we will see the modes of transmission so there are mainly two modes of transmission one is direct transmission and second one is indirect transmission uh, the direct transmission means direct from the object and indirect uh, transmission means uh, secondary to some some other object so in direct transmission it mainly comes direct contract uh, sorry direct contact droplet infection contact with soil inoculation into skin or mucosa then transparent uh, transplacental or you can say vertical then in indirect transmission there is vehicle bone vector bone air bone fomite bone unclean hands and pictures sorry unclean hands and fingers in that we'll see the first one direct transmission through person to person contact like touching biting or sexual intercourse so skin uh, skin to skin whenever there is any skin infection to any of the human being and we get contact with those persons so it is very obvious to to bacteria and virus to get from the uh, get transferred from those skin to another person's skin that is from direct contact or you can say direct transmission and that mainly there are uh, when when people get contact with each other then we'll see in that it is skin to skin mucosa to mucosa and mucosa to skin then the second one is droplet infection droplet infection is mainly through the air whenever the person sneezes or coughs uh, sorry sneezes and coughs so those uh, from his mouth the droplet get in form uh, get in mixed with the air and whenever the person breathe those air it is very obvious to get infection uh, inside the uh, that infection breath uh, is taken in the human body through the inhalation of the oxygen so uh, see here in the diagram the person is sneezing and those elements are getting mixed in the air uh, and then we'll see contact with the soil 
so in contact with the soil means whenever we are doing any work with the soil so there are so many pathogens present in the soil that gets entered in the uh, nails and whenever we are eating food and they get entered through the through our nails to the human body and they get multiply there and make their family and, and they are easily getting transferred from one person to another through our activities and the next one is inoculation into skin or direct mucosa inoculation means through the cuts in the body or open spaces where these bacteria easily find their way to get enter into the body and they get mix into the blood stream then we will see the indirect transmission indirect transmi transmission means through the, any medium so common vehicle are food water air for mites so food is staphylococcus sermona uh, we always uh, it is always told not to eat the roadside food in order to protect it, us from infection it is always advisable to eat healthy and homemade food because there are uh, there is chances chances of getting indirect transmission when we are having roadside food then water cholera and hepatitis waters are also carrying so many uh, harmful agents that cause uh, diseases in human being then air chicken pox and influenza then for mites like cooking utensils bedding clothing surgical medical instruments so these are the articles you can say where the bacteria sits and grow and whenever we get contact with those bacteria and it is very obvious to get transferred from those objects to the human being through the indirect contact and that will see the first one vehicle born transmission through water food ice blood serum plasma or other biological products such as tissues and organ so mainly we can see this vehicle born uh, disease uh, sorry vehicle born transmission in the hospital setting where the staffs nurses doctors other other pers uh, health persons get involved with those products and they they are easily getting infection from those objects because they are not infected but when they are dealing with this uh, activities they are getting disease through them so it is indirect transmission through vector born then we'll see the uh, uh, vector borne disease sorry the first one was vehicle borne uh, sorry the first one was vehicle borne now we'll see the ve vector borne disease so vector borne disease is through the animals arthropods or any living carriers that transport transport a living agent to a susceptible individual it may be mechanical or biological you can take the example of the uh, mm, mosquitoes whenever uh, there is a mosquito why there are chances of getting certain diseases due to the bite of the mosquito like filaria malaria dengue fever and so on so they are the vector borne diseases that cause infection in the human being then airborne diseases airborne disease means through air so uh, our tuberculosis is counted as a airborne disease because whenever the tuberculosis patient sneezes without a precaution that is he is not keeping any mask in his uh, uh, mask in his uh, mouth or does not keep hand so that uh, tuberculosis bacteria get transferred into the air and when the person uh, inhales the same air present near him so he is liable to get the secondary infection that is indirect airborne transmission then we will see the fomite borne that means through the articles that we are using that is infected from the person so these includes inanimate object that means non living objects or substances other than water or food contaminated by infectious discharges from a patient and capable of harboring and transferring the infectious agent to a healthy person that is soil clothes towels linen cups spoon pencils etc then diseases are diphtheria typhoid fever bacillary dysentery hepatitis a i and skin infection so through the contact of the infectious object it is liable to get infections from those substances and when we can see the unclean hands and fingers so whenever we are not having personal hygiene we can have certain disease condition that is uh, counted in the indirect transmission or secondary infection that is transmission diseases are staphylococcal and streptococcal infections typhoid fever dysentery hepatitis a intestinal parasites and intestine parasites you may you mainly get uh, vomiting stomach cramps etc then you can go for the next next we are going to see the transmission cycle that is transmission cycle means how they grow uh, in when they are getting transferred from uh, indirect to direct contact so in transmission cycle of the disease the transmission of pathogens from current to future host follows a 
repeating cycle. This cycle can be simple with a direct transmission from current to future host or complex where transmission occurs through multiple intermediate host or vectors. That means these uh, transmission cycles of disease are interconnected to each other. So whenever they get transferred from one person to another, they have a simple process and ends at the same point. So, these elements of the uh, transmission cycle are the pathogen. The pathogen means the organisms that causes disease like you can take the example like bacteria, viruses, etc. Then the host means the, the things on which they grow like human being, animals, the infected person or animal carrying the pathogen. Then the exit, the method uh, that pathogen uses to leave the body of the host. That means if the person is sneezing, it will be in the air. If the person go for, goes for the defecation, then it will be out through. It will be out from his body. Then transmission means getting transfer. How the pathogen is transferred from host to susceptible person or animal, which can include developmental stages in the environment in intermediate host or in vector. That is transfer. Then the environment. Environment, environment means where it grow. Then the entry means how does it enter into the human body or uh, host body. Then the susceptible person or animal, the potential future host who is susceptible to the pathogen. Susceptible person means the person who is more capable of getting uh, those infections and can carry them and grow. So these are the uh, disease cycle elements that uh, causes the bacteria to grow. So today we have seen the disease transmission and disease cycle in those we have seen the three uh, dynamic process that is source of reservoir modes of transmission and susceptible host then we have seen the two methods of transmission that is direct and indirect that's all for the today's class thank you to all the students